Hey everyone, Billy Carson here for a bit of knowledge. Welcome to Meditation Monday. I know it's been a while since I've been on here live. I was in Africa and the Middle East, and then as soon as I got back, I had to travel again right away to go speak at an event in Atlanta, Georgia. But I'm back, and today we're going to talk about the primordial OM. We're going to do an OM meditation, which we've done before. I'm going to give a, a very brief explanation of the OM, and then we're going to get right into it, okay? This OM symbol here you see on the right is actually a symbol of spirituality. It's a Sanskrit text, first of all. It is not a word. It's, an complete, it's a complete ideology. It's a complete idea, basically. And so we're going to really learn a little bit about this very briefly before we get into the OM meditation. Okay, so you can see that the visual elements of the Sanskrit symbol represent the four states of consciousness. Okay, and so this is very, very important. One, we have the walking state. Two is the dreaming state over here to the right. Three is deep sleep. Four is transcendental state. Okay, up here, top right. And then you have five, world of illusion. Okay, so you know, it's the veil uh, of true awareness. So this is amazing that this symbol has not only these... Uh, the, this idea of meaning, but it also represents a frequency at the same exact time. So it's a very powerful symbol. So let's look into the history and the information about it very briefly. Om is a primordial sound of the universe. Primordial, which means we're talking about the very, very beginning. It is what helped emanate all energy and all atoms and molecules and everything that exists into, into the third dimension. This is the frequency that helped emanate everything into existence, okay? This is, you're looking at, and you're getting ready to partake in the sound or the frequency of the Big Bang itself, all right? Heard in temples, yoga studios, households, even television and movies, the chanting and symbol of Om is familiar to most as it has pervaded the Western world since its uh, counterculture of the 1960s. While to the layperson, it's synonymous to meditation and seen simply as a doorway to tranquility or yogic practitioners. The true meaning of Om is deeply embedded in Hindu philosophy, and to comprehend its truly profound effects, one must have a basic understanding of sound. We're talking about cymatics. We're talking about frequency, vibration. Through many, uh, uh, Though many comprehend sound is merely something to be heard, its mechanism is little more complex. Sound is made up of vibrations. These vibrations are produced from a source. They travel through the air, then are picked up by the ear before being interpreted by the brain, which assigns them some value. The number of vibrations per second is known as a frequency because all matter is composed of atomic material, which is in constant motion. Everything and everyone vibrates at a specific frequency. Everything and everyone, every atom in the entire universe vibrates at a specific frequency. The great inventor and scientist Nikola Tesla once said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. He's talking about subatomic particles. The word Om is defined in, by Hindu scripture as being the primordial sound of creation uh, it is the original vibration of the universe from this vibration first vibration all over uh, first vibration all other vibrations are to manifest from this first, uh, from this <clears throat> from this first vibration I'm sorry I, I'm tired guys <laughs> middle of the morning from this first vibration all other vibrations are able to manifest okay so this is like the the foundation stone. This is the cornerstone. This is uh, this is the the base from which all other vibrations can build on, which can then manifest everything into existence in the third dimension. Uh, it, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. So we're going to partake in this own meditation again. As I get into it, you want to focus on your breathing, inhaling eight to ten seconds, exhaling eight to ten seconds. You can chant the Om along with the voice of the monks if you want, or you can just meditate in silence and focus on your breathing, clearing the mind, and letting the frequency and vibration 
fill up that consciousness. And so you can take full advantage and full benefit of the blessings of the frequency that it'll have on your body, healing, understanding, higher levels of consciousness, discernment, all these things come within this frequency and vibration. Okay, so we'll get right into it.
was a great meditation that was powerful. Thank you for joining me uh, this early, early morning. And, uh, you know, just a couple of words of wisdom for this week. I haven't been able to do this for a while, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, usually we typically talk about not complaining and, uh, you know, just trying to, you know, smell the roses and, and find the good in things. This week, we want to become problem solvers, okay? We want to become problem solvers. When a problem arises, what we want to do now is we want to try to find a solution. If we don't know the solution, we want to go find somebody that has the answer, okay? Find somebody, and then once you find the answer, implement that answer so we can provide a solution. In other words, if even if it's just mentioning it to someone, hey, I found the solution to this situation, I found the solution to this problem, or for something you're personally dealing with, then take that knowledge and actually apply it. Don't sit on the knowledge, apply the knowledge, put energy into it so you can get a different result the next time, all right? Look, I appreciate every, every single one of you guys. Love y'all. Uh, thank you for joining me here on Meditation Monday. And don't forget, shares of forbidden knowledge are available for $1 a share. The SEC approved this for 1 million and 70 shares in round one of a reg CF raise. And the link will be in the caption of this video. You can click on that link, read more about the offering. You can download all the all the information on the company, as well as look at the uh, pre-money valuation of $20 million. This is phenomenal. Round two will be coming up very, very soon. So you want to be able to get in in round one where the shares are only $1. All right. Peace and blessings, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. And I uh, will talk to you all very, very soon. Hi, my name is Billy Carson. I'm the president of Forbidden Knowledge. Are you looking for an amazing opportunity that you can invest in that's already generating revenue? A company that's already making money and profits right now today? Well, look no further. Forbidden Knowledge. We have our own streaming TV network. We're now approved and streaming already on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, the iOS App Store, Google Play Store, and the web. We have over 5,200 amazing shows with over 22,000 subscribers. We just reached our one-year anniversary, and we have a phenomenal base with huge potential upside. We're looking to be three times this size by this time next year, and you can be a big part of that. So please, review this information and join us at Forbidden Knowledge. Thank you.